Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully everyone is having a great day as always. In today's video we are going to be looking at these coins right here. I've got 12 of them in total and they are all the 1953 pence coins. Now these ones actually have pretty low mintage to them. Uh, they have just 1,600,000 of these three pence coins were made in the year 1950 and in very good condition, which is a pretty low grade. These are going to be worth 90 cents each. So obviously not hitting an absolute home run here, but these coins are definitely worth hanging on to. If you're building out a year set, these ones are going to be kind of harder to find just based on their low mintage. Let me adjust the lighting a little bit for you to see the best I can do as far as the lighting that seems to work a little bit better so again let's kind of quickly look through these and then we'll get into the design characteristics as we look through them so what we're looking at on the reverse uh, we see the three-headed thrift plant on these coins right here so I'll move them aside as we kind of get into the details of them these are 12 sided coins so they're dodge diagonal coins they have a weight to them of 6.8 grams. Their diameter is 21.8 millimeters. Their thickness is 2.6 millimeters. Um, they've got a kind of a smooth edge to them so they don't have the grooves like you see on the United States quarters. Now this design was used for a short period just from 1949 until 1952. Its value is three pence, which was one quarter of a shilling obviously pre-decimalization before you could kind of just move over the decimal place as far as kind of rounding up and down and determining the value. So these are going to be worth one quarter of a shilling. Now the pound sterling currency was used from 1158 until 1950, at which point they switched over to the decimalization system. Flip it over to the obverse side of the coin. You might not recognize this guy right here. He had just a short period on which he was on UK coins. This is George VI. Uh, he's facing the left. We've got the legend going around the outside of the coin. And then we have the designer's initials right down here at the bottom. Or excuse me, the engraver's initials. The engraver was Thomas Humphrey Pageant. So we've got the HP down here at the bottom of the coin. Here are the other... 1950s that we were looking at earlier and we'll start to kind of flip through these all 12 of them so we can see the design characteristics on this coin right here these are all definitely circulated coins so they bounced around a little bit in circulation but overall in pretty good condition um, and have been kind of I assume after the 1950s they were taken out of circulation then and haven't been put back into it especially now given that this currency isn't even used anymore We'll go through this side right here. George the six on the obverse side of the coin. This one's right here is in pretty rough condition. That is six of them. Now the lettering going around the outside, it translates to George the six by the grace of God, king of all Bretonians, defender of the faith. So that's what the lettering going around the outside right there translates to. coin all right everyone that's all the info that i've got for you today hopefully you enjoyed this kind of quick look at these 1950s three pence coins from the united kingdom as i mentioned at the beginning of the video these are actually pretty low mintage coins so it's pretty neat that i'm able to have 12 of these um, definitely kind of a cool feature if you're into coin collecting please do check out some of the other videos on this channel thank you very much everyone and best of luck coin collecting out there enjoy